What's up guys? Welcome to the next circuit. We're going to start out seated on the ground for three core movements. This is a great circuit for not only working the front side core, but we're also going to learn how to do it correctly, especially in our last movement. So three movements total. First one is going to be butterfly sit-ups, eccentric or lowering portion. Then we're going to get supine stair steps, three up and down. The first one butterfly, excuse me, is going to be 10 total. And last one, supine low back rocks. That's going to be the not only working, but learning exercise of how it should feel. And we're going to get 10 repetitions there. So 10, three up and down, 10 on our reps. So supine butterfly sit-ups. We're going to get in a butterfly position, meaning feet are together, knees towards the ground. Start up tall on the spine. Eccentric just means lowering. So version one, I'm lowering as slow as I can possible as I go down. So my goal is to activate my core. Now, once I'm here, I can either walk it back up if we're just doing the eccentric, or I can do either a portion back up and then slow lower from there, or I can do full back up and then again, slow eccentric lower. Okay, so we got 10 there. The next one, we're gonna get supine stair steps. So now I'm lying flat on my back. What I'm gonna do here is lift up one foot at a time. This will be similar to flutter kicks or, or scissor kicks or, or six inches, anything like that, if we've done that. And then what I'm gonna do now is press my low back into the ground to where there's no arch. This is similar to putting your hands up your back. All I'm doing is getting my feet Wherever I start to already feel a shake maybe, my low back is still flat, that's gonna be my starting position. And now I'm gonna get stair walk-ups, just like I'm walking up the stair to a tall position, that'd be one, and then I go back down. So this is two, walk, 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 back down. Just three steps depending on where you start from. So for me, it was three steps. If you start lower, it might be four or five steps going up, going down. Last one is gonna be supine lower back rock. So all I'm doing here, we're just gonna start in a dead bug position, meaning feet and knees are up or off the ground. We're gonna go ahead and bring arms up. And all I'm doing, watch right here. So my lower back is arch. I don't know how easy it is to tell. You might see that there's some space uh, between my low back and the mat right here because there is we don't want to be in this position because a lot of time it puts the strain not your core it puts it in the lower back or the hip flexors we want to bring our belly button our low back into the ground here and you can see that difference between my legs so version one low back arch version two i'm already pressing the ground i'm not faking in my voice i have to really activate my core just to hold this position so that'll be three. We're rocking back and forth, nice and slow and controlled. Really pressing our low back into the ground in the second variation. Which again, this is training us, this is getting us in that motor pattern to learn how it feels. We want our low back flat against the ground. This is gonna put our, our low back spine in a great position that is healthy, that is safe, and not only safe and more effective, it actually activates what we call, which is the core. Uh, our goal in a core exercise is not working the lower back, it's working right here. So that will help tremendously with that. And if you have any back pain, this is one of my favorite, one of my most efficient and effective ways to reduce low back pain and activate the core with anybody I've done it with. So you guys are awesome. I'll see you next time.